Hi everybody, thanks a lot for checking in. This is Dave Jewell from Free Run Speed. There's a lot of talk on YouTube right now about the durability of running shoes and when you should replace them. Today I'm going to address a question that I get all the time that I've had for years. It comes out every year. Right now the question is being addressed a little bit differently. So I'll start from there. With all of the exposed EVA, are shoes wearing out faster? That's kind of the opposite of the question I get all the time, which is, how can my shoes be worn out if the outer sole looks fine? Look at it this way. There is an enormous amount of research and development into rubber meeting hard surface. Imagine for a second if you are the person that's in charge of building the latest tire that goes on a passenger jet. Or you're the developer working on tires used in Formula One. That research and development is put into a database that is used by the shoe manufacturers. They get that data. Not, not necessarily to the tire, or, but they get the data on the actual rubber itself. And so they know what's going to be super abrasive durability, and they know what's going to wear out quickly. There is so much research done on that kind of rubber that the shoe companies can build an outer sole that far outlasts the midsole, or the upper itself. And that's proven out. That's why that question comes out. How can my shoes be worn out? The outsole looks fine. Today, weight is the driving force in running shoes. If a running shoe is, is say, 11 ounces or 295 grams, it's going to get a, a bad mark on a review on YouTube. That doesn't mean it's going to be a bad shoe. But they will comment, well, I wish this shoe was under 10 ounces. And that's either the YouTuber that's driving that or it's you, the end consumer, that's driving that. But weight is a major issue. Take the midsole itself out. The heaviest piece being applied to the shoe is the outer sole. And so to save weight... They had to do two things in building outer soles. When shoes were 12 and 13 ounces, and that was okay, this outer sole was five millimeters thick. But today, because weight is such an issue, these outer soles are two or three millimeters thick. To make up some of that, the durability that comes with the thickness, is they've created new compounds. Also to save weight, they've limited the amount of rubber being used. So they only put it in high abrasion areas. In this shoe, it's right here in the heel and up here in the forefoot. And then they expose EVA, or in this case, fresh foam, to the surface itself. There are some shoes, like that the New Balance Beacon, that only has a, a small amount of rubber here and a small amount right here, and the rest of it is all exposed. And that's why that shoe is so light. So that's part of the answer to the question, are shoes less durable because there's more EVA being exposed? The answer is no. They're, they're putting rubber in the right place where high abrasion occurs, the, the, the foam can hit the ground all at once. It will show some wear, but it doesn't really affect how durable the shoe is. The real topic here 
and the real issue that runners need to understand. If you're looking at the outer sole as your indication that the shoe is still fine, what you're asking your body to do is once that midsole come, becomes flat, and it will flatten out way before this outer sole wears out, you're asking your, your ankles, your knees, your hips to take a greater amount of that shock absorbing load. And as I said last week, super efficient runners, they can manage that load very well on their ankles, knees, and hips. But most of us can't. And what happens is you ask your body to do an extended amount of running, managing that load, and something is going to snap. Not literally, but you're going to get some pain somewhere. It could, it could result in what you feel as plantar fasciitis. It could be a little Achilles tendonitis. There is going to be some pain somewhere, and that all could have been avoided if you didn't use the outsole as the gauge for the durability of your running shoe. If you used your body and let your body tell you when that shoe is worn out. And your body will tell you. I pulled out the four shoes I put the most miles on in the last year or so. Three of them are flat and no longer feel good. And one is getting there. The New Balance Rebel. For some reason, my review on this shoe is still the number one viewed video every day. This outsole looks fine with almost no wear patterns. The shoe itself has hardened greatly. This is the Nike Epic React 2. It is the number two video that gets viewed every single day, which is the review of the original Epic React. The outer sole shows some wear on some of the exposed EVA and then also on this super soft rubber. The React foam didn't flatten out. What it did is it became ultra soft, super mushy, which doesn't feel good and, and also doesn't cushion much anymore because it's too mushy. The Nike Pegasus Turbo 2. This is a highly durable outer sole. They can use that rubber because there's a layer of PBAX foam in the midsole, which is also used in the Alpha Fly, which, as you know, is super lightweight. The shoe, after a while, feels like it's bottoming out. You know that feeling in your car or on your bike when you know the tires are too low? That's what this shoe feels like. You can just feel it completely bottoming out. Finally, it's the New Balance 1080 version 10, which you have seen in many of the videos that I've done. It's still in the rotation. You can see the minor wear on the outsole. The other day I had a, my first bad run in the shoe. It's got two more runs before I call it done. Right now, I'm leaning towards the double run that I did last Sunday that put me in a hole. But if it's the shoe, I won't hesitate to pull it out of the mix. It's important to understand the outsole is not an indicator to determine if your shoe is worn out. Your body is the best judge. Listen to your body and never hesitate. If the body says that sucked about your run, it's probably a really good indication that the shoe you've been running in for the last six months is flat. 
I hope you are managing 2020 well. Running can be the release we all need. So let's keep running. And let's not let flat, worn out shoes sideline us.